Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about arterial line sampling. Before getting into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Aim of arterial line sampling is to safely and correctly obtain a blood sample from an arterial line. Blood sampling from an arterial catheter is performed to obtain blood specimens for arterial blood gas analysis or for other laboratory testing. There are various techniques to collect blood samples from an arterial line. In this video, we will be discussing one of the techniques to collect samples from arterial line using a transducer kit. Indications of arterial sampling includes arterial blood gas sampling and other lab sampling. Arterial blood gas sampling is done in order to know the oximetric values. It is usually done in case of oxygen therapy either before beginning it or after discontinuation of oxygen therapy. Next, equipment required for arterial line sampling. 5 ml syringes, gloves, arterial blood gas syringe, alcohol swabs, sterile gauze. Arterial line sampling procedure. Check the order or indication. Identify the patient and explain the procedure to the patient. Turn off the alarm in the monitor. Perform hand hygiene and wear PPE. Before getting into the procedure, you should know about the transducer setup. This image shows the transducer setup where transducer is fixed on the transducer holder and the lower line connects to the pressurized saline bag and the upper line connects to the arterial line. If you see the image of stopcock, it is close to the atmosphere and hence it is open to the pressurized saline bag and the arterial line. Now to begin the procedure, turn the three-way stopcock off to the patient side where the stopcock is turned upwards as shown in the picture. Remove the cap from the three-way stopcock and scrub the exposed part with an alcohol swab. Now look at the image one. After cleaning the port, place the syringe on the port, turn the three-way stopcock off to the pressurized saline bag. Now look at image 2. Collect at least 5 ml of blood. The next step look at image 3. Turn the stopcock upwards, that is, off to the patient's side. Remove the syringe and clean the port. Now look at image 4. Attach the ABG syringe. Turn the 3 way stopcock off to pressurized saline. Aspirate. 1 ml of blood. Next, look at image 5. Turn the stopcock at the transducer upwards that is off to the patient. Remove the syringe. Flush the side port. This is done by rapid flush. And place a piece of sterile gauze at the side port to collect the drain as shown in the picture. Turn the stopcock at the transducer horizontal off to the atmospheric ear as shown in the image. Flush line to the patient. Flush several times for no longer than two seconds at a time until the line is clear of blood. Clean the side port with an alcohol swab and replace the cap. Now, after collecting the blood specimen, remove PPE, perform hand washing, Turn the alarms on and ensure that the waveforms written. Properly label sample with the date, time and conditions of ventilation and FiO2. Send the specimens for analysis. Points to remember while collecting arterial line blood sampling. Many will be having doubts whether to reinfuse or discard the initially collected blood sample this may be reinfused or discarded as per the hospital's policies. If the blood is discarded continuously, there may be chances to develop nosocomial anemia. 
before and after the blood withdrawal, assess and evaluate the arterial waveform. Turn off the arterial blood pressure alarms before collecting the sample and after blood withdrawal, turn on the alarms. After collecting the arterial line sample, make sure that the syringe doesn't have any air bubbles. While flushing the arterial line, make sure that the line is free from air bubbles. So far, we have discussed the technique of collecting blood sample from arterial line using transducer kit. This could also be done by collecting the sample from the three-way which is closer to the arterial line. This we can discuss in the next session. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. The method is one of